Now let's take simple harmonic motion for a vertical mass spring system. Same concept, you have a spring in equilibrium. You put a ball on it. Now he have his new equilibrium over here. The force of a spring is pulling upwards. The force of gravity is pushing downwards. So you can walk through the expected motion for this object if you have the ball here. So the ball could be at equilibrium right here. So here there's no ball. You hang the ball on it. Now you have equilibrium. So the F spring equals the F gravitation. The F net would be zero. And here we have the F gravitation more the F spring. So the F net would be upwards because the spring need to pull backwards to his equilibrium. So the spring will be swinging down and up, downward and upward until he find back his equilibrium position and be able to settle down at his equilibrium point. It is important to know that there is some plastic objects and there is elastic objects in the science of materials. When you study material science, you will learn more details about elastic and plastic materials. Elastic material is like a spring. He can go back to his original point after you remove the applied force on it. He will be going through harmonic motion back and forth until he come back to his original point. Plastic object is like the dough that the kids play with or like, um, you know, a certain plastic material or like a chewing gum. When you pull it, it will keep pulled. It most likely it will not come back to its original position. But in many cases, the elastic material, which is naturally supposed to go back to its equilibrium point, it has a break point. This tipping break point, if you pass it, if you stretch that spring more than normal, more than what he can handle and can bring back, or more than the return force, then in this case, the spring will never be able to go back to his equilibrium. Just that's something to keep in mind from a real world applications. So let's go to our example. We have a spring hanging from a hook on a ceiling. The mass is 15 grams attached to the spring. The spring stretches to distance of 0.5 meters. If you want to assume the initial displacement is starting from here, then now the new displacement is here. So you have minus 0.5 meters of displacement. What is the spring constant? You have X, you have mass, you have gravitational acceleration, find K. Of course, we will do some free body diagram analysis here. We have F spring pulling upwards, F gravitation pulling downwards. And we know that for equilibrium, we should have the F spring equals the F gravitation. F spring is K by X. F gravitation is mass by gravitational acceleration. K would equal mg over x. We have all those parameters as givens. 0.51 by 9.81 over 0.5 would give you 10 newtons per meter as the constant of that spring. Simple harmonic applications. You know, there is many people who are doing like rope jump or whatever they call it. Usually you are above the river on a certain bridge that's high above the ground. And you have a rubbery rope on that edge with some assistant and crew. They will tie you to the rope and you jump. And when you reach the, di the deepest point before you hit the floor or the river, the rope will pull you backwards and forward, backward, upward and downward until you go back to the equilibrium point where you will be able to complete your activity. That's exactly what happens with the vertical spring but here the material is not a steel spring or that material it could be most likely a rubber rope but you know rubber have elasticity and have physical parameters you do the analysis and free by diagram and be able to solve such kind of problems let's take a pendulum that's swinging right and left the mass of the pendulum is attached to the spring and has been pulled from its equilibrium position through displacement angle of theta has a mass m displacement is the farthest to the right the restoring force is a maximum negative value and velocity is zero so you go here it will stop moving velocity zero f return would be 
to the maximum and the acceleration would be to the maximum pulling you downwards to the negative and here is the equilibrium point the pendulum will keep swinging back and forth and losing his energy and getting lower heights or lower maximums until he settled down at his final point at the rest position now let's take an example on a pendulum determine the magnitude of restoring force of a pendulum of a mass 100 grams that has been pulled to an angle of 10 degrees from a vertical you have g and you have the mass you convert grams to kilograms would be 0.1 kilogram find the restoring force f r analysis you do a freeway diagram when it's at the highest point to the right restoring force will be pulling to the left f restoring after analyzing the f gravitation perpendicular would be this way and this is f gravitation normal this is the f return if you do f force vector analysis you have a theta so the f return would be f gravitation sine theta and f gravitation equals mg by sine theta that would give you 0.1 kilogram by 9.81 by sine theta which is 10 and that would give you 0.17 newton